Hello watchers and dear subscribers, this is again Shrex from SmartHerd. Welcome to your Make Your Android Application Tutorials part number 9 and this is the continuation of the selectors tutorial. Now let us quickly jump onto the Eclipse and start our coding. In the Eclipse, here inside the drawable folder, I have copied and pasted this light green image in the drawable folder. Now this is our image and our image dimension is 337 cross 103 pixels. Now I have not specified this image dimensions for all the drawable HDPI, LDPI, MDPI and respective folders. So I have pasted this image inside the default drawable folder. If you want you can divide it in the ratio of 3 is to 4 is to 6 is to 9 and paste it inside all these drawable folders as I showed you in the multiple screen support tutorials. Now let's do one thing. Let's create a new XML file in our drawable folder. This was our first step. New Android XML file. Now here just type button underscore custom right now. Here under the root element you can see lots of tags are here right. Lots of parents are here. Now if you scroll down you will find this selector. Our primary concern in this tutorial is selector. So just select it. Hit finish. Now here our XML file has been created. Now do one thing. Add the item. Now add the attribute to the item tag. Android. State pressed equal to true. Then add another tag. Drawable button underscore background underscore default. Right. Now when we run our application then this statement is executed and by default our button appears dark green. Now when the user press the button then the state pressed becomes true and this statement is executed. So we get a light green button at the background. Now one more step we have to move forward. Go to the front page.xml. Now inside the XML layout what we are gonna do? We have to replace it button background default to what? button underscore custom right now we have to copy the statement and replace all other background attribute with our button underscore custom dot xml fine now let's save our application and check out our graphical layout now here by default our button is looking what dark green now let's save it and run our application BAM! Our app is running and by default our button is looking dark green. Now let's check by clicking on this button. Now when we click on this button it is changing its color. Right? Now you can see its color has changed to what? Light green color. Right? So this was all about selector guys. This was just a brief introduction about selectors and buttons. Now we can use selectors in radio buttons, check boxes or whatever layouts or widgets we want to use. We can use those selectors in upcoming tutorials when we will learn about radio button, check boxes, etc, etc. We will use selectors in those cases also and we will continue our discussion on building up of our app, building up of our application of Android interview. So guys, catch you guys in the next tutorial. This is Shrek from SmartHerd signing off. Meanwhile, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below my video. Thank you and have a good day.